Hello, everybody. Andrea Maieski here with Dental L. I have been tutoring for 16, almost 17 years now, and I'm going to teach you guys how you can pass the quality assurance exam the first time so you don't have to worry. Anything can be stressful when dealing with our Dental Hygiene Association, right? And when you get audited and you need to take the quality assurance exam, you're probably really nervous. We do have the choice though. We can either submit our portfolio or take the quality assurance exam. People ask me all the time what I feel is the right decision and it really depends on you. I keep it simple. I say, if you're organized in taking your continuing education courses, if you have all of your courses lined up, if you have your goals lined up, the portfolio makes sense and you do not have to pay to submit your portfolio. The quality assurance exam, we do have to pay for that and you have to study for it. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys and teach you how to pass the first time. So what you need to do is they suggest, the Dental Hygiene As um, Association suggests studying for 75 hours for the quality assurance exam. You do have to study for it. The first thing you should do is download your dental hygiene manual, our dental hygiene resource manual. You can get that directly from our Dental Hygiene Association. Make sure you have the updated manual. Download that and you can decide to read that, you know, cover to cover. That is a great way to study. But you're gonna fall asleep. You're gonna fall asleep doing it. So what I have done is I have created a course. This course has been available since we started being able to take the quality assurance exam. I have developed a course where I have gone through and made PowerPoints. I have made videos. I've made quizzes to teach you guys what you have to know for the quality assurance exam because our association does give us a blueprint of what to study and you can decide to buy our textbook like the Darby and Walsh textbook, thousands of pages and read through that, but you're not gonna know what to study and what you have to know for the quality assurance exam. The quality assurance exam is different than the board exam. If you study for the board exam, you will pass the quality ass um, assurance exam, no problem, but that's a lot of studying that you don't have to do. So I'm just gonna show you guys inside the course in case you're curious. So this is the full quality assurance exam course. When you log in, when you sign up for the course, you will see all of the topics here. So you can look on the main page or click those three lines and then look at the modules over to the left-hand side. So you need to know community. Um, emergency protocols. This is directly from your blueprint of what you have to know to pass the first time. Health and safety, infection control. There's a lot of infection control. Pharmacology, process of care, professionalism, radiography, special needs, record keeping. And I talk about the practice profile at the end in case you do need help with that too, because you do need to do your practice profile. If you do not fill out your practice profile, you will get audited again automatically, but you can take the quality assurance exam first. As long as you submit your practice profile by January, you're fine. Same with the quality assurance exam. As long as you take your exam by January, if you have been audited and pass, you will be fine. But I give you all of the modules on what to study, as I had said, like community, emergency, all of that. So you just simply have to click and this, and I, I do also explain, sorry guys, my dogs are playing, of course, working from home. Um, I also show you guys the percentage of what's gonna be on the exam and what type of questions. So you don't have to say, do I have to study community for like 70 hours? Is it a lot of the exam? It's 5%. So don't fear if you find community boring and you don't really want to study that much. It's only 5% emergency protocols. Let's click on that. Oh, sorry, guys. Emergency protocols. Um, I go through all of that as well with you. So let's click on the first one. That's 7%. So you'll want to know a bit more. But as you click through, you will see this is a PDF file. If you want a fact sheet, I have that as well. There's quizzes, there's PowerPoints, there's all kinds of things for you guys to go through. So you literally learn a little bit of everything and then you can take the quiz, 
you can take the test that I do have. I can't show you the quiz because I'm in preview mode, but what I like about the quizzes is they are fully interactive. So you can do a question and then it tells you right away if the answer is right or wrong, and then you move on to the next one. I suggest taking the quiz as many times as you want to, to really practice. Sorry guys, my puppies are playing. If you can hear them, they sound kind of funny. So that's the best way to pass the first time. Study everything that I have for you in those modules, take the quizzes, obviously pass the quizzes, then you know you are prepared to pass. Or of course you don't need my course, or if you don't want that, then you should buy the textbook, the Darby and Walsh textbook, it is thousands of pages, but how else are you going to know all of that information without the textbook or taking my course? or sorry, and you want to download your dental hygiene resource manual and study it cover to cover. Inside the course, again, I've done the hard work for you guys. I'm just gonna share my screen one more time here. I've done the hard work for you guys. So you literally just have to log in, study everything one by one. In fact, I even have the handbook here for you, right here, so you don't have to go searching for it. I have everything you need to study. Study everything one by one, take your time, ask me questions if you have questions. You know, if you study everything, you will pass. As of this year, I'm sorry, last year, because not everybody has taken the quality assurance exam this year yet. There was still a 99.1% success rate in passing. The first time, by the way, the first time. So my course, can help you. You do not need to buy the textbook if you purchase my course because I've taken the textbook for you and put it into PowerPoints and quizzes to make it much easier to study. So let me know you guys if you have any questions. I am very, very happy to help. I will leave the link for you guys down below to purchase the course if you would like. Um, and if you don't mind, please click like on this video. That does help me so much. And if you haven't yet, make sure to uh, subscribe as well because I do upload videos at least a couple times a week, if not more, all about dental. I'm all about dental, you guys. So feel free to watch along, listen, let me know if you have any questions. I'm very happy to help. And I look forward to seeing you guys inside the course.